Hey everyone, Happy New Year's and welcome back to Indie Corner, the best Nintendo indie show on the web. Now we got a great start to 2015, welcoming us with 5,000 subscribers. Thank you all so much for that. We started pushing out content less than a year ago and we've already hit the 5,000 mark. That is amazing. We're here for the long run though, so you're going to be seeing us at 10,000, 25,000. Keep sharing it with your friends so we can get those, to those milestones. If you're not familiar with this show, what we do is we look at all the Nintendo Indie news from last week, bundle it all within five minutes for you so that you can get up to date really quick. This week it's going to be a little bit different. It's going to be longer since we're looking at three weeks of coverage, which is the last time I was here covering news that I've been on holidays. So here's all your indie news and updates for the last three weeks. The Wii U and 3DS libraries got a healthy dose of games in the second half of December, although the North American audience got more choices on the Wii U. Releasing across both territories was 99 Moves and Spy Chameleon. 99 Moves has you guiding a robot through an obstacle course where you can only use 99 Moves to get through. Spy Chameleon offers a puzzle experience where you must guide the chameleon and avoid getting caught using your color changing abilities. Looking at just the Wii U releases in North America, there were several newcomers. First was Plenty of Fishies, a game that compiles several minigames under the sea each with a high score to shoot for. RC Maniacs launched two new titles including Block Drop X Twisted Fusion and Toss and Go. Block Drop X Twisted Fusion acts as a sequel to Block Drop U while adding a lot of polish to the visuals thanks to the partnership with Luvjin who added his Twisted Fusion art style to the game. Toss and Go on the other hand offers a new simple dice game where you can challenge the CPU or your friends in a game of luck and risk. Also releasing in December was Ninja Pig's controversial meme run offering an endless runner experience all with an unusual meme twist. Cake Ninja 3 The Legend Continues crossed overseas to join the North American library, bringing with it a Fruit Ninja style game where you must slash at your gamepad screen trying to rack up points. Lastly there was Toon Tanks as well as Wayforge Shantae and Pirate's Curse. Toon Tanks may bring back memories for the veteran gamers as you face off in tanks controlling them from overhead. Shoot down your enemies while you dodge fire using obstacles. Fans of the Shantae series will be happy to see the half-genie return in her new quest to stop the rebirth of an evil pirate spirit as she teams up with her arch nemesis Risky. Not to be outdone by its console brother, the 3DS saw several new releases as well. Both North America and Europe had Toys vs Monsters and Puzzle Box setup released. In Toys vs Monsters you'll play as the toy army protecting your dreams from the advance of various types of monsters. Puzzle Box Setup turns things around and literally will have you holding the 3DS upside down so that you can recreate pictures by dropping appropriate colored pixels in the correct spot. In North America, 3DS owners can download the latest action RPG, Faerun. In this adventure, you'll guide a girl who has been chosen to become a heroine and must solve puzzles and gain powers to seal away a mysterious menace forever. Also available in a similar vein is League of Heroes. You'll find yourself in the Frognest Forest where you can hack and slash at monsters, level up and collect various treasures. In Europe, 3DS owners can try their hand at the number puzzle game Sumiko. Clear a grid of hexagons by adding and subtracting numbers to match the target numbers. For a more strategic style game, there's Castle Conqueror Defender. This tower defense style game has you building and defending your own castle against hordes of invaders. And if you're looking for something more lighthearted, there's Brutus and Fute, a puzzling adventure game that has you interacting with a movie scene via the touchscreen. Now starting off our new projects, Renegade Kid confirmed the first Dimension game will be re-releasing on the 3DS. The team is said to be reworking a few elements of the original game they thought was weak, such as the constant enemy respawns and poor save system. The team is also aiming to hit 60 frames per second with 3D on, and is looking at Q2 2015 for a release. Next we saw Hollow Knight successfully reach its Kickstarter goal, meaning it will be coming to the Wii U. This 2D adventure will have you exploring a strange and mysterious world of insects. The game will let you explore the world at your own pace while requiring you to gain new abilities to explore new areas. Coming to the Wii U is Dex High Life, which is an open world cyberpunk RPG. The game will offer multiple solutions to problems, meaning full character progression, hacking mechanics, voice acting, and of course a rich game world. Next we heard from Varia Games which announced the Shoot'em Up X Bridge would be coming to the Wii U in Q1 of 2015. The game is a holdover game until the studio completes their main game, Revan. X Bridge will act as a lead up game to Revan and will have new chapters added up until the release of Revan. 
The game will also allow you to build your own fleets and challenge your friends with them. We then have Blood Alloy, also for the Wii U. This 2D adventure will require skill to get through its fast-paced combat. Additionally, you'll have access to dozens of different types of weapons, vicious bosses, and a gripping storyline to encompass it all together. Finally, we have Chariot, coming out on the Wii U later this week. This title offers a humoristic physics-based co-op platforming experience. The goal of the game is to escort a funeral wagon to amass enough riches to bury the dead king's remains in a worthy gold-filled tomb. And now for your Nindy game updates. First up, a few games were patched, such as Super Toy Cars in Europe, which improved its collision detection, added leaderboards, and fixed various bugs. Gianna Sisters Twisted Dreams will also be receiving a patch this coming month for North America, which will add sound support for the gamepad. Next up, we got a few new trailers for upcoming games. Anima Gate of Memories launched their second trailer showing off some impressive visuals, fighting mechanics, and platforming. The game was successfully funded last summer and seems to be coming along nicely. Act Studios released more gameplay footage of their upcoming RPG Y2K. The footage shows us what we can expect in terms of visuals from the game world. The game is still under development and has no release date yet. Our friends at Arcane Pixel released another trailer for their upcoming game, Tiny Galaxy. The new trailer shows off many new worlds that will be featured including a nice and fire world. Lastly, a new trailer for Road Redemption was released showing off a new playable character. Shovel Knight kicks up some dust and lays down some punishment in Road Redemption. As for reviews from our enthusiasts, we had Hector take Jet Tailfin for a spin. The game was released much earlier in the year and has you racing underwater as Jet Telfin. Unfortunately, the game suffers from bad controls, frame rate issues, and terrible sounds, making the game come in with a terrible score. Joining Jet Telfin on the low end of reviews was Meme Run, reviewed by Jonathan. While the game makes no attempt to be appealing in any way, it did manage to be somewhat addicting, which was its only redeeming feature. Finally, Sean Long reviewed Way Forward Shantae and the Pirate's Curse for the Wii U. The game offers the same experience as the 3DS version in stunning HD. The game scored well for its tight gameplay and its length, but got docked for having to backtrack a bit excessively. That's all your Nintendo Indie News for January 6, 2015. Now I do have another special feature of Indie Corner coming out maybe <clears throat> next week, which will highlight all of the best, not the best, highlight any interesting indie games of 2014 on both the Wii U and 3DS. This will cover any games you might have missed that I think you should definitely take a look at. Obviously you should take a look at all of them, but we will be looking at which ones did things differently or in an interesting way, since indies are always reinventing the wheel of how we do things. So do look out for that next week. I'll see you guys next Monday, and until then, keep on playing indie.